Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer Allison and I am the founder of the Art and Soul Academy. Now today is an exciting day because I'm going to be walking you through step one of the shoemaking process. Now it all starts off with a little bit of inspiration and a well thought out design. Inspiration can come from anywhere, but for this specific project, I have chosen to pull inspiration from the Badashi Museum's most recent exhibit, The Great Divide. The Great Divide showcases 18th century footwear and highlights key details and stories from the Age of Enlightenment. After walking through the exhibit, I had so many ideas floating around in my mind. So once I got back to the studio, I started to put a mood board together to help gather my thoughts. A mood board is a curated collage that consists of images, swatches, and text to help convey a certain idea or theme. It is also a wonderful tool to help designers narrow down and edit their ideas. As you can see from my mood board, fashion during the 18th century was very ornate. Individuals loved to wear statement buckles, silk, and embroidery. One of my favorite facts that I learned from the exhibit was that working women during this time generally acquired their footwear through the cast-off clothing given to them by the people they served. Now, I really loved learning this because at Art & Soul, we strongly believe in sustainability, and upcycling is a big part of our process. So for this project, I decided to carry through with this concept and use old garments to transform into a new pair of shoes. While thrifting, I ended up finding some really special pieces, but I ended up deciding to use the fabric from this black and silver skirt because I thought it would pair nicely with my own personal wardrobe. My goal for this project is to make a pair of shoes that are wearable and modern, but still hold on to that 18th century feel. So once I settled on my fabric, I started to sketch out small thumbnails to get some design ideas down on paper. From there, I moved into sketching a few of my favorite ideas in full scale to see if they would be technically sound. To be able to fully picture the outcome of my design, I ended up rendering my sketch, and I find this really helps build confidence and clarity before I begin. To render my sketch and imitate the texture of the fabric chosen, I use pencil crayon, marker, paint, and nail polish to achieve that metallic sheen finish. So as you can see here, after sketching a few different options, I settled on designing a dainty lace-up derby, detailed in a black and silver brocade. I am really looking forward to making these and I would like to invite you back tomorrow to follow along with the pattern making process. 